Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Daisy Rubin Chaudhary, and I'm working as an ophthalmologist in Padra Hospital since past eight years. We are very grateful to the EFS for uh, funding the eye project. Uh, it is actually like an answered prayer for us because we could give the facilities to the patients which uh, they would receive only in cities. It's like a holistic approach, you know, we take care of them from the point we pick them up to the till the point we drop them. So we provide them free stay, free food, and the surgeries is done, we give them a post of medications and we drop them back from the point where we have picked them up. This is a part of a journey where EFS has really played a very important role. And uh, we are looking forward with the newer equipments to be able to provide in the latest technology which has been developed in, in the cataract surgeries with the newer implants and different types of implants which will be available over here. Uh, that is our aim, you know, to make patients uh, have the facility over here which is uh, standardized, is as comparable as they are going to city, but they can have it right here then and there without having to pay an extra price for it. There have been some of them very uh, heart-touching stories where we have found that uh, the patients or the parents were been kept in a separate room or been kept outside the house because they were not able to take care of themselves because just because they were not able to see. I remember a few years ago I had a girl who was well, it, I think around early 20s and uh, she was kept outside in the house and she was labeled as being mentally retarded, you know, disabled. The only issue with that girl was that uh, she was not able to see. You know, the parents were upset thinking that their daughter has some other uh, mental issues, but it was just for the cataract surgery. Mother was so happy, you know, because now her daughter was able to take care of herself. And a few months later, they came for the second eye surgery as well. Mission life actually happened to me. You can say that mission chose me. I was just a 17 year old when I came to Padhar and uh, after three months I got uh, sponsored from here to for my medical course in Christian Medical College Ludhiana, that's in North India. And after finishing my course I came here back to do my service commitment, came back and been here since past eight years and uh, it's been an amazing journey so far, it has its own challenges not the paying patients you know they have the money they can pay for anywhere in the world and get the surgery done but people who have nothing to give to you and when you do that for them that's an amazing feeling you know nothing in that world can feel you know give you that satisfaction no money in the world nothing can make you feel so good about it for me the most exciting part of doing this outreach programs is the follow-ups and it's like an occasion for them. They wear the new shirt, they'll put the new sari on, they'll be so neat and clean, not the way that they come preoperatively. The hair is combed, they're looking well taken care of, you know. Finally, they can look at themselves and they can take care of themselves. And that makes it worthwhile. So it's the patients, it's the people who make it worthwhile.